What is up? This is still weird. Today, taking the bike to my friend's house. We're gonna take it apart, gonna work on it, figure out what the issue is. Me and my girlfriend, Emily, we're hanging out today. Pretty cool, pretty exciting. Uh, she's taking me to the Geek Gathering, which is something that happens here in Florence. It's kind of like, I want to say it's kind of like Comic Con, but at the same time it's not because it's like super small. In a way, it's like it, but like I said, it's super small. And also, I'm shaved. I look much better shaved. And it's also like 8 o'clock in the morning, and I haven't slept. I didn't go to sleep. I stayed awake because of this. <laughs> this is like one of the things that I, I got to get done. Also, depending on the weather and how everything else turns out today, if I get enough time, I'm going to go ride one of my friend's bikes. He has a, I think it was a 2007 ZX-10. I rode it before, but I didn't get to make a video of it. But I do have a video where there's small clips of me riding it in that video. I'm going to try to be riding that bike today to get a video of it out because he's trying to sell it and I want to help him sell it so uh, I want to make a video of riding it so anyone who's out there who's interested in it can see that it is rideable and how it performs and everything like that first what I need to do for this is to go to my friend's house and get the ramps and the straps and stuff like that because I don't have any here with me so let's go do that so I wanted to uh kind of do what a lot of other people do kind of vlog a little bit as they're driving somewhere and uh, you know me being me uh, I drive a five-speed I drive a five-speed don't don't worry about this mess over here don't but yeah I drive a five-speed so it's gonna it's kind of hard to shift gears and hold the camera and keep control of the steering wheel so I guess we're just gonna have to fast forward to some point probably when I'm actually back loading the bike up so I'll see you then I keep looking at I keep looking at the playback and not the actual camera I'm sorry it just you know I'm not used to this and I'm back okay so just got back from my friend's house with the ramps about to load the bike up onto my truck over there uh, let me show you how I'm about to do this, okay? This is what I did. This is the road. You got the ramp coming up here. Coming up like that. It's gonna be back here. I need to go ahead and get this out there. I've never loaded my bike up at this place by myself. So this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be exciting. Uh, I'm hoping I don't drop my bike or do anything like that. I don't want to damage anything. Let's get going. This is how I tie down my bike. Not what I wanted, not what I was expecting. Uh, yeah, <laughs> look at this. Look at this. Um, that's not good. And uh, I didn't exactly do that. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't think I did that. I guess I'm going to go slow and be safe. Yeah. Okay, so what we did actually wasn't really much at all, but we did get a lot of oil and grease on my fearings, so I just had to wash that off. Here's Jacob. <sighs> and we're about to go ride. <laughs>
while since I've been on this road. I don't remember it. See that curve coming. It's evil! God, this wind is so bad. Man, I'm getting hit by so many bugs right now. Anyways, this is Jacob. He's the guy I talk about a lot in my videos. He's a really good friend of mine. He's like one of my best friends. He helps me out with my bike issues if I can't figure it out myself. And he's a really good rider. Um, what is that? I can't remember. I think it's a 98. I want to say it's a 98 650 uh, Suzuki Savage Cruiser, obviously. He is like awesome. He's also really good at hitting curves. He's as you can tell, he's hitting curves like awesome on the freaking cruiser. Uh, that's how me and him ride. Like we don't stay like close to, you know, like we don't stay neck to neck like we are right now when we're hitting curves, just in case, you know, just trying to be safe. That's how we ride. Uh, we just stay, we st we stay far by back where we can see each other, but not so close where if one of us goes down the other one's gonna go down with them because they're too close to avoid it but jacob is also the the guy who taught me how to hit curves <laughs> he taught me how to hit curves and now i can hit curves with the best of them at least i think so in my book i just know some of the roads that we hit like the roads that we just hit god i haven't been on those roads in forever so i forgot what the curves were and how the curves was that's my fault. I should have been riding that road more. But yeah, Jacob's a really good friend of mine. He's like 
have one of my best friends. I don't have many of those. It was good to have one, you know. It's the bike issue that I was having with my bike, we uh, we figured out with where the leak was coming from. At least we think it was coming from. Uh, at first, we thought it was like maybe a head gasket. Then we uh, actually took the bike part a little bit and uh, looked at it where it was actually coming from, and it looked like it was coming from a, a fuel injector. He did whatever he did, and uh, it tightened up a, a bolt, and said so that's probably the issue out there because one of the screws in there holding it into place was like really freaking loose so we tightened that up did a few other things and uh now i'm pretty much just trying to test ride it and see if it's going to leak anymore i don't really feel any difference in the bike i don't know i don't know i mean like i know when it was leaking i didn't feel any difference in the bike so i'm not sure what i should be feeling for honestly it feels about the same this row. But yeah, the wind is like freaking crazy today. I'm being pushed all over the place. I hope my bike's not leaking. I'm not even gonna know until I stop. Is that sand or is that dirt? I don't know. haven't got to ride in forever like last year we rode almost every weekend like every chance we got we rode together but this year this past summer that just you know happened we we got to ride like maybe three times and i understand you know he was busy i was busy and it, it just sucks i haven't been down any of these roads get off my face stupid bug i haven't been down any of these roads so i don't know any of these curves or where they're even at Smell something. What's up? I smell something. I don't know if it's that stuff that you sprayed on it, and I'm just. I smell something, but I don't see any leaking. Like that stuff that was right there that I showed you. That's gone. That's not even there anymore. I don't see any leaking, but I'm smelling something like it's burned or something. <laughs> it could be that bike. I didn't even think about that. Holy crap, there's a hornet in my bike. Ninja. All right, let's go. Stupid hornet. Yeah, there's so many bugs in my visor right now, I can't even see like to the left side. This is crazy. Ow, shit. Something just hit me in the fucking nipple. What up, Kimosabi? Damn, I look good in that reflection. I gotta get a thumbnail. Look at me, you bastard. Uh, I guess I'll figure out a thumbnail for something else. Probably when I saw myself in his re visor reflection. Yeah. There's a lot of yard sales going on today. Which, uh, of course it is. There's yard sales all the time, everywhere on Saturdays. If the weather's good enough, anyways. Well, that was fun. Yeah, except for that car. 
Oh, yeah. Man, I didn't know any of those roads, dude. I thought, well, no, you hadn't been down that half of the other. No, like after we got off, what, County Road 8, I didn't know anything. Are you sure it's from grinding on the ground or did your dog just chew on it? No, that, that's grinding. If you see here, you can look and see there's a good drag. I know. I was joking. <laughs> see you when we get back on the road.